So the personal statement, we have some reasons why um, the personal statement is a necessary uh, tool for you. And if you think about the personal statement um, as being not just only a transfer admissions um type of document but as for you to plan out even your own career it will help you to begin thinking about the uh the processes that you need to take as you move uh from one level to the next academically one level um from one level to the next professionally in your future profession and then one level to the next in your personal life uh which for me includes um, personal finances. So let's look at some reasons why the personal statement is an important tool. So for one, it gives you an opportunity to express, right? This is your opportunity. I don't know how many times I hear people say, um, if you think about reality TV shows, especially those that are very competitive and that you can be, um, you know, eliminated as a result of your contribution or lack thereof, or if it is lacking. And um, I like that um, reality TV show comp um, competition uh, project runway. And when, when a person is eliminated, you hear them give their, their sort of um, speech about, I just needed an opportunity. I just needed an opportunity. But the first time that you are there, the very, the very first time that you made the cut out of all the thousands of people who were there and then um, who, who, who applied and competed and then you made the final cut and then you did the first task that was your opportunity. So you have to treat every time that you get a chance to do something as an opportunity. So the personal statement provides you with an opportunity to express why you want to enter the field, why you want to enter the institution, why you feel like the program at the institution is the best one for you. That means you have to know you. You have to know about uh, what works for you, whether or not this field for, is for you, this future field. And we're going to get into an example of like accounting. I always use this in my classrooms, uh, those individuals who want to major in accounting. And the first question I always ask, do you have a love for the numbers? Because accounting is looking at numbers all day, every day. You are holed up in, a, in an office and you only come out for special meetings or to give a presentation or report. But the bulk of your day is looking at numbers all day, every day. And if you're saying by noon that you are tired of looking at numbers that may not necessarily be the field for you. There may be a field that is connected to that, like, you know, finance. It's, it's about numbers too, but not like, not like the tedious form of, of, of performing accounting is. So this is something you got to think about because if you are a math major and you're, it, you're not taking every opportunity to work out math problems just for practice. That That's telling. You shouldn't have to wait until you get to a classroom to begin thinking about math. If it's a passion for you, it's something that you would begin thinking about way before you even hit um, a college campus. So opportunity to express. It is also a persuasive argument because you are basically selling yourself through this uh personal statement that you are the right fit for not only the major, but also the career field as, as well as the institution and the program. That why are they choosing you? And you are the one who has to understand that for yourself, that you are, you are, you are the right fit because, and only you can answer that question in one, two, three reasons, and then further expound and develop and explore it, right? So it is a persuasive argument because remember, thousands and thousands of students, applicants, um, college applicants apply to these schools and programs. And it's not just that you have to have the uh, high GPA, which is very, very important. They still want the numbers. Institutions still like the numbers. But not only do you need to have the high GPA, but you definitely need to have um, not only some sort of engagement in the field through any type of internships or volunteer work or anything like that, 
but also an ability to communicate that you are the best fit because you're going to have this need to persuade throughout your career. Why are you the best fit to, to, uh, to be hired? Why are you the best fit to move up the corporate ladder or the academic ladder or the institutional, the non, um, nonprofit ladder, whatever that is. And so the more that you do well in your classes, the more that you engage in your field, the more that you um, do well in all areas that are connected to this field, the more confident that you're going to feel and it's going to come out through your communication. So the personal statement really is a very important tool to get you thinking about how well you communicate and how well you, you can sort of like assess yourself in terms of communication. So persuasive argument. It's a sales presentation, right? So some majors require an interview, uh, in-person interview. Uh, now that we are in a pandemic, you may have to do a virtual interview, but it is a sales presentation. So how you present yourself, the clothes you wear, the way you wear your hair, depending upon the field, there are some fields that are very strict. You, you can't have a bunch of tattoos. You can't, you have to wear a suit and a tie. You have to wear, um, um, a suit, a pants suit or, or a dress suit or something like that. You have to have your hair manageable. It has nothing to do with sort of racial and gender-based implications. It is just the field. You're not going to see a lawyer, an attorney defending a client with a mohawk in the courthouse. You, there's a way, there are certain fields that require you to look a certain kind of way. And so sales presentation does matter. If you are going to, if your major is business, usually um, you, you definitely have to do an interview with the chair of the department or with um, a faculty member. Uh, it could also be a business leader connected to the university uh, because they may provide scholarship opportunities. And so they want someone who is going to have their scholarship or use their scholarship to give them a good name, right? Or to support their brand. They don't want someone who's going to uh, affect how the scholarship is uh, used and how it is later projected um, in the field, right? So sales presentation. Reflection of experiences, life, educational work. So that's why it's very important not to get too distracted in other types of things because when you do that, you really do interrupt yourself. So you need to know what life experiences you, you have, what your educational experiences you have, what work experiences you have up to date. Um, to date. Especially, for example, if you are getting into business, usually uh, these are people who, who have so, so, some kind of entrepreneur mindset early. They had like a little lemonade stand. They had something that they were doing to make money, right? Selling tickets or something like that. And so uh, that helps with your personal statement that business has been on your mind since you could remember, right? Since the time you were 10 or, or 11, 12 years old with your um, lemonade stand or, or something like that. Then educational, of course, you want to make good grades. I always say this to my students, you should be pulling A's in your major, especially if it is your major. Other courses you may struggle in because you really don't have a passion for them. You don't necessarily care about them, but, but your major, uh, and sometimes it takes some time to catch up to the fact that, that you are the right fit for that particular major because a lot of times we want the glam, the, uh, the, the glam, the glitz, the glamour of, of living life. And so we want the big things. But a lot of times we are made just for where we are and we do well where we are and we thrive wherever that is, wherever we are. And so... Um, um, sometimes it takes a bit of a time to realize. I know for me, 
I didn't realize truly that I was going to become a teacher, but there were implications that I was going to become a teacher when I was younger. I used to line up my dolls, put pen and paper in front of them, uh, those dolls and bears, and then teach them something. I don't know what I was teaching them, but I was teaching them something. And then um, I graduated to the neighborhood kids, lined them up, put pen and paper in front of them, and taught them something. Again, I don't know what I was teaching them. But there were implications that I was supposed to become a teacher. Uh, but by the time I got older, I was going initially for the money. So my major was initially computer science because I was going for the money. It wasn't until I started tutoring um, assigned to a class to tutor students um, that I that it just some light bulb just turned on on the inside of me and I knew I was I was I was I was supposed to become a teacher so uh, those experiences do matter because now that's that's kind of covering life educational work because then I started to actually um, do more tutoring and then I went to graduate school and I was a graduate teacher and then I progressed from there and, and I'm now an adjunct professor. So reflection of experiences really do matter. You may want to keep a journal. You may want to think about uh, how important it is for you to uh, be able to convey those experiences. Plan for achieving ambition. So regardless of what people tell you, college is for everybody. College allows you to process who you are as an individual, especially if you are the type of person who makes hasty decisions or get into things too quickly or just have so much zeal that you don't think before uh, uh, the next step. This allows you to think about where you want to take yourself, uh, what you want to do, what do you envision for yourself. Um, and so the personal statement allows you to just begin the idea of planning for achieving your ambitions. If you later want to become this, whatever it is that you want to become, say you wanted to become an actor or actress, that's still going to take a plan, right, for achieving that. You're going to have to get some pictures made, right? That means you got to develop a, a portfolio. You're going to have to begin thinking about filming yourself, uh, maybe uh, running through some lines, especially if you want to get into theater. You can always do a Shakespeare line or just a you know group of lines. You want to think about how you are going to get an agent and then what type of agent. Is it a film agent? Is it a, um, a, the a theater agent? Uh, is it commercials agent, whatever type, um, type of agent. And then you're going to have to go on auditions and you're going to have to um, plan your life for that. So that means you may not be able to work during the day and the only time you can work is in the evening. So your day is dedicated to going out on audition, um, um, auditions. Of course, if you want to work in Hollywood, you're going to eventually have to move to L.A. That means you need to begin saving money. So your plan for achieving ambitions is going to require some financial planning as well. Um, but definitely time, um, definitely relocation. So it, the personal statement gives you an opportunity to begin thinking about your ambitions and, and how you are going to get there. And school is a great medium for that because it helps to process you. And then this is really considered your first assignment. So even though you are you have not been admitted to the institution yet or the program yet, this is really your first, it's really considered your first writing assignment. Your ability to convince the admissions team that you are the right it is your first assignment. So you want to take it very seriously. Um, no one likes to read a, a personal statement that's filled with errors. No one likes to read a personal statement where the person doesn't know what it is he or she wants to do. Sometimes you cannot have the major, but you have an idea about what it is you want to do. That needs to be conveyed. And you usually have uh, 250 to 500 words 
to do that. That's the opportunity. That that is your opportunity. Don't uh, and and most inst institutions will not allow your application to go forward without a personal statement. So this is the time for you to begin thinking about it. So the personal statement gives you an opportunity to express. Uh, it is a persuasive argument, a sales presentation, reflection of experiences, uh, a plan for achieving ambitions, and it is considered your first assignment.